Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to Cyber Security TV. Uh, in the previous episode, we talked about the SQL map and how to exploit the SQL injection using the SQL map command line. Uh, in this uh, video, we're going to talk about the simpler way to exploit the SQL injection without uh, going through the request file, without you have to remember all the commands uh, uh, that the SQL map provides. Uh, we're just going to uh, install an add on uh, which comes with the burp suite and we can directly exploit the SQL injection from the burp itself. Earlier we, what we used to do is we have to copy the request file and then uh, we have to like you know co uh, provide that request file to the command line and, and that's how we were exploiting. Now this was uh, the request made by someone uh, in my previous video so I thought okay let's let's uh, get it done. It, it, it does sound uh, familiar and, and like you know it will be helpful for a lot of people who are uh, trying to learn the web application penetration testing. Now, uh, not everyone knows about the Burp extender, but the Burp has a cool feature. Like it comes with a lot of lot of options. Uh, the extender provides you. It's like an add-on or or a widget. So just like we have in the browsers, you can add the widgets like to download certain videos. You can have for the ad block. So that's a similar thing con concept here. You can add whatever the widget uh, or the add-ons you have from the App Store or from the Burp App Store, and then you can install and then you can use it right away. One of the uh, feature or one of the uh, add-on that we're going to talk about today is the SQL PI, uh, which is SQL Map uh, uh, Python library, uh, which uh, of course, like you know, uh, helps us to exploit and penetration uh, penetrate the uh, SQL injection. So that's what we're gonna see today. Uh, first thing, uh, there is a prerequisite to install a lot of this add-on, and especially for the SQL map, is you have to install the Zyton. Now, let me show you how to do that, and also we'll, we'll I'll, I'll walk you through uh, the example how you can use the add-on to exploit the SQL injection using that add-on. So first. Uh, here is the uh, uh, website uh, from where you can download the Zython. I just installed this one because I'm using the Windows uh, system. You can just uh, download this one and run it. Uh, it's it's pretty much straightforward. You just like you know follow the wizard uh, installation wizard and and it, it's gonna uh, install the file. I'm not gonna install it right now because I already have it. All right. Uh, the next thing, uh, let's look at the extender. So uh, once you have the burp. Here you will able to find the App Store and the extensions installed here. Now, if you see the App Store, uh, there are so many options here. It also comes with the ratings. It also shows you the popularity. So, like you know, uh, how many people have downloaded uh, this particular add-on. Then it's not just that this is only available to the professional uh, Burp Pro. It's also available to the free version. Uh, of course, not all of them are available for the uh, free version, but you can see the list here. There are quite a few which are available for the free version. The one that we're gonna use today is this one, uh, SQL uh, SQL I P P Y SQL Map Integration. Uh, one thing, if you notice, uh, it has got four and a half ratings, which is uh, pretty good. Uh, it has uh, a decent popularity, like more than 50%, and one of the most important thing is it's available for the free users as well. So if you are, if you do not have a pro version of the Burp Suite, you can still download, install, and configure this one and, and use it. Uh, other thing is you can also uh, pretty much, uh, because it's an open source, you can also download and use the code. So if you want to check out the code, how uh, how this plugin works and everything, you can uh, dig deeper uh, in here as well. Here you can see all the requirements. As I said, like you know, it requires Python, Java. Of course, if you have Burp installed, you should have Java as well. Uh, Python. It comes with the most of Unix distribution. I already had it because I do write a lot of Python scripts. But uh, if you don't have it, you can also install Python online. Like just download the Python version, anything about to, and you should be okay. All right. So as you can see, I have already installed it. Uh, I, the other thing you can also find it uh, here, like where is it installed, and uh, like you know the errors and outputs and everything. You should be able to see here. Um, 
other thing uh, you may have to do is or you must have to do is once you install the Zython you make sure you configure the jar file here so once you have the Zython installed uh, just remember where you have the jar file and select and look at the path here uh, that should do it so once you do that like it doesn't take more than five minutes to be honest like you know setting up the Zython and, and installing this add-on it, it's pr pretty fairly quick so what we're gonna do is um, I have a application uh, this one uh, BWAPP uh, broken application so this is intentionally uh, vulnerable of course we can try any application but I just uh, thought to try this one because it's on my local host and it would be much quicker uh, so how we generally how we find uh, SQL injection is we try like you know different error messages like we uh, insert single code and see what the error message is so, uh, as you can see here uh, uh, it says like you know you have error in the SQL syntax it says MySQL server so of course it giving us some some error message with uh, which is like you know it seems that there is an SQL injection vulnerability here um, we can of course manually go and you know try several other payloads which are available from the SQL cheat sheet uh, on the OWASP site but uh, we want to make it quicker if you are doing a pen testing and it's a time bound uh, uh, like in a project then you may want to go quicker and that's why we have the burp suite installed uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type any random movie search for a movie let's say test okay I'm gonna hit enter here I can see uh, the request captured in the burp suite uh, now one thing you will notice as soon as I do the right click there will be one menu item here because I have that uh, extender or add-on installed here you just hit on these this one it's what it's gonna do is earlier what we like if we are using the command line what we need to do is either we have to copy everything uh, paste in the request file and provide the request file to the uh, SQL map to exploit the other thing uh, here as well like you know if you are let's say this is a much simpler website like you do not have any authentication or it does it does have a authentication cookie okay yeah so it, it does have PHP session ID so uh, it's not that straightforward like you know to exploit with the SQL injection because you also have to provide the cookie value otherwise uh, SQL map will not be able to get to this page like it's not able to get the response without any valid session token so that's the reason uh, this is this way is much easier I always do like if I'm using command line then what I do is I simply copy this entire request paste it into text file and provide the text file to the SQL map like I showed you in the previous video and exploit it that that's a easier way the other thing is you can also use the wizard uh, in the command line but with this extension it's easy because as soon as you hit the right click and go to the and select this option it's gonna automatically populate everything so it's gonna like you know uh, you can select if you want like you can modify as well uh, here you can see uh, of course like the only bad part about this extension is the UI is a little bit broken as you can see uh, not every value is visible maybe if you decrease the font size uh, it will show you everything but uh, it's okay uh, we can still able to figure out like this is the URL uh, this is the post data of course it's empty because as you can see there is no post data here uh, cookies so as, as I said like you know you have to provide the PHP session ID so it's being provided here a uh, refer user agent now here you can also say okay what do you want to exploit let's say I want to do current user or maybe current database I don't know what it is uh, you can also do this one uh, you can also select the threads let's say uh, two thread and everything will keep it as this if you have to change anything else you can do it and as soon as uh, you hit this one it's gonna start scanning and exploiting other thing uh, you wanna make sure is when you have uh, this uh, particular setup like you know when you have uh, this installed you want to make sure you hit on the start API so for example let me show you uh, by default it will show this in the red color the SQL map API is not running 
uh, I just kept everything uh, default and it should run. But uh, uh, you still want to make sure uh, you hit on the start API, it should turn into green and should say like in a SQL map API is currently running now. And once it is, uh, you go and hit the start scan. Here you will be able to find all the logs. So for example, uh, so this is the button of course it's not showing <laughs> what the what the button is for but uh, this is for to sh see the logs and this is to remove the logs here if you have to stop the scan you can stop here and then remove from the memory uh, so here you can see uh, this is our uh, the query or the like if you if you are going to the command line you will uh, maybe like you know easily copy this as well so if you find it difficult like you know using it this way then what you can do is easily uh, this is like you know I, uh, the other method that I would recommend and sometimes I do follow it because it's hard to like you know find and configure and because the command line has so many options uh, if you are doing like an advanced exploitation then yeah of course I, I go with the command line but otherwise I would uh, I would stick with here but uh, let's say if you still prefer command line what you can do is you can just simply copy this command and paste it in the command line and, and just run it and, and it should give you like you know and you can configure additional option and you can get all the details what you want the exploiting uh, but yeah so here if you want to see the updated logs so for example let's remove this let me uh, yeah remove everything here now if I go here so there is nothing in here let's start the scan again as you can see now it's showed up here uh, the only reason uh, it's showing up uh, that quickly is because it's cached in my uh, in my temp file that's the reason but it says like you know zooming back and database is MySQL so last time when I ran it did found uh, uh, the, the database uh, and it confirmed that yeah the database is MySQL that means the SQL injection is there now it's going to fetch the banner current user and fetching the current database it's it, it's gonna take some time uh, while it's running uh, let me show you one other thing so the other easier thing uh, with this approach is uh, you can like you know find all the details so for example if you are testing this uh, application through burp and you found other vulnerabilities and you have to generate the report all the findings or all whatever like you know uh, SQL map finds here it's gonna uh, show it here so like all the instances of the SQL map finding like SQL injection or anything so that's that's like you know that makes our life a whole lot easier because uh, what you can do is you can directly go here and then you can also see the documentation here you can also report the issues you can generate the HTML XML reports so you don't have to uh, like you know import the data from the command line SQL map and then uh, report separately because this is much more integrated and, and it gonna save you a lot of time so this is uh, about it in terms of uh, how the um, SQL map works in the burp extender but also there are other uh, uh, for example this one uh, like you know I, I like this uh, add-on a lot uh, I have it installed as well likewise I I have used like you know multiple add-ons from here based on popularity you have to do sort of like you know trial and error sometimes as well and also go through the reviews and ratings and popularity other way uh, to also look it up so the other uh, way to look it up all the add-ons and everything is through here uh, online you can go to the uh, burp suite app store and you can uh, look it up all the add-ons and the dates and everything and of course the uh if someone has updated recently uh, it will it should have uh, like you know all the updates that you are looking for so this is what uh, we had installed but yeah uh, you can just go through it and you should be able to find like you know many useful add-ons so uh, i thought like this this will be a useful video uh, for a lot of pen testers out there uh, to see how you can cut down the time on exploitation and everything uh, there are multiple ways you can uh, use it and as I said like you know uh, there is uh, always a better way to do it I prefer a combination of command line as well as the burp add-on uh, if it's an easier exploitation 
I use the bird pattern, but if I need to do some like you know advanced options configuration like using the Tor browser and using some proxies and everything, then yeah, I would go for the command line. But then uh, what you can do is you can just copy the command from here, so you don't have to write it like manually, and you don't have to worry about the syntax or anything, and you just configure additional options as you want. Uh, so yeah, that's that's about it uh, uh, in this uh, video. Let me know uh, how you like it. Also, uh, please recommend any other topics that you would like me to cover. And please hit the like button, uh, of course, and, and let me know. If you have any other questions, I'll try my best to help you out. Uh, that's it. Thank you for uh, watching, and I'll see you guys next time.